covering just a tiny fraction of the ocean floor, coral reefs support almost a quarter of marine life. Along with offering food and shelter to thousands of diverse creatures, their vast underwater cities also play a vital role in absorbing and storing harmful pollutants, just as trees remove CO2 from our atmosphere. But corals are in fact living animals themselves, requiring a delicate balance of conditions in order to survive. As temperatures, pollution and sea levels rise, these fragile creatures are beginning to starve and eventually die, leaving behind bleached out ghost towns, abandoned by almost all forms of life. All except one. The tiny island of Bonaire in the Caribbean Sea is home to the oldest marine reserve in the world. It's also the base of Reef Renewal Bonaire, who's using multiple ways to restore these decaying coral cities. Francesca Virdis is a coral restoration scientist. She oversees the reproduction of thousands of corals in the lab and underwater. Some of them may be less sensitive to the recent hostile conditions that have killed off their less fortunate counterparts. But to achieve her aim, Francesca and her team need to act quickly. They mustn't be late to an extraordinary underwater annual ball. Only once a year, just after the full moon, a remarkable aquatic love story unfolds. The venue's the ocean, the guest list surpasses a trillion, and under the cover of night, the most magical event on the planet begins. The corals are ready to mingle, and on cues from the moon cycle, release their eggs and sperm into the currents, hoping to meet their match. This rare natural wonder also offers scientists the chance to capture millions of coral reproductive cells and take them back on land to a five-star honeymoon suite also known as the lab, to ensure they are fertilised. For the following weeks, young coral larvae are kept in pools where they can settle on tiles and grow into new coral colonies. Once strong enough to survive in the wild, they're replanted back onto the reefs. Since 2013, Reef Renewal Bonaire has trained more than 1,300 divers, residents and visitors who felt passionate enough about the project to dedicate their time to help the cause. To date, the foundation has successfully replanted, using various techniques, more than 35,000 corals to restore the island's once again bustling underwater cities. Reef Renewal Bonaire and its team of volunteers have proved that even the smallest of gestures can go towards creating a gigantic, positive change. <laughs>